morning guys it's a beautiful friday morning we just about to uh, leave tom town and uh head out for the clear and car indy yeah everybody's ready though tom is ready chris phillips over there Yep. Tom is look like he's moving. Check it out, the BBQ. The BBQ. What do you cool. think, Brad? I love it. <laughs> the header is a nice touch. Yep. Where are the steaks at, Fong? Uh, at a supermarket. You the barbecue, but not the steak. So if, <laughs> if if we turn the crank does, and you put hot dogs here, yeah. roll them. So we put the <laughs> window regulator motor right on the back of the water pump. So they keep rotating oh, thing. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. that idea. Yeah. Dude, this is sick. First Fong had his K-Series grill. Now he just made one. Out of the B series. <laughs> got the manifold on there, even has the timing belt on it. <laughs> That's a good timing belt, though. <laughs> the brand new timing belt. Good oil pump. That's a. This one blows them underneath the belt. <laughs> That's a there. GSR oil pump, too, so it's work. <laughs> <laughs> you need to make the oil pump like suck up some A1 sauce and distribute yeah, it evenly <laughs> across the stakes. Yeah, as it drips <laughs> the, the grease down, it pumps it back up. <laughs> a little flavor. Oh yeah, that's awesome. This is one here, yeah. Pong. From All Motor Pong. Yes, sir. <laughs> Left lens night, sick. Hey.
Good job, good job. Bye bye. Love you, buddy. Love you too. Feel better next time. Yeah, with feel that better next time. Car. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> At least you brought it out. See we're gonna see you. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. Great. All right, guys. All right. Good luck. Yeah, all, right. all right. All right, Chris. All right, Pong. Let's do it again. Yep. Heading back this. home. We got this, huh? Yep, we got this. Let's go. I uh, got sick very bad since uh, I get back. Uh, from uh, Indiana uh, I lay in bed for like a week pretty much can do anything at all but today is feel a little bit better you can hear that my voice didn't sound normal at all yeah it's too like they want to rain again but kind of a little bit warm so I decided to uh, put a phoenix back to the lip because the problem is uh, I still didn't feel comfortable with uh, this type of uh, suspension. You guys know that I have the strap put on. I just took them up, you know. <clears throat> yeah, for somehow 
this suspension it looks nice. It comes in one piece. But the problem is that the steering rack mount on the bottom. I don't think it's the right setup for this uh, uh, this uh, spindle. Because remember the newer Honda, they very much have the similar stuff with this. But their steering rack mount somewhere above the wheel right here. And then the steering rod, the rod is very long. So um, the reason they do that, because this thing, they don't have the upper, upper control arm. So every time thing is moved, you know, they create a lot, the angle. So that's why they have to mount a steering rack somewhere up here to reduce the bump steer. This guy right here, they have no upper control arm, one solid piece. And then the, the, the rack and pinion is mount very low. So every time it moves, every time the sus suspension is moved, they change a lot of angle. So the wheel is in and out like this. So that's why I put a strap on so to reduce the travel of the suspension. But I don't, I don't feel comfortable with the strap. Think about this thing roll over 130 miles per hour and then the strap fell and the wheel angle is totally out of control and I don't want to crash the vehicle and you know I just took it up and uh, for somehow I have to redesign this suspension to make it work and still think about it but uh, the only way we can do with this thing is some for somehow we lock this part right here so very much we run no suspension you know, just lock it just set up the the height we want and then just lock it up right there so that's why the wheel won't move so we don't have any steering problem that's what i think <coughs> yeah but how we do it i don't know you know this suspension they, we have to be able to turn the wheel around, you know. So for somehow we have to lock from the inside of this uh, strut right here. But I don't know. Yep, I have to take it out, see uh, which way. I have to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, I just took the strap out. It looks so ugly. I just don't like it. Yeah, I got the cold weather finally given up. We got the clear sky today. The sun is out. It's kind of warm. Uh, I spent some time to work on Phoenix, working on the suspension. The more I get into this suspension, the more problem I found. <clears throat> I took the complete strut out. And you know, this very weird suspension. The sleeve is too small. All right, so the shaft is keep wiggling like this all the time. So actually, basically, they have to hold tight because this shaft is hold the wheel. It's connect direct to the frame, so that means it's, this is the wheel camber. So every time the wheel apply power, this shaft is wiggling like this. No wonder why the wheel's angle is changing like crazy. How are you going to run the car? like that I don't think so so right now for somehow I have to find bigger sleeve or double the sleeve make sure this thing is tight and it won't move otherwise this suspension setup is worthless <sighs> Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> well, the big washer on the bottom so they can fit into the hole. 
you can see now thing is hold very tight not gonna be wiggling no more So basically this part is locked now so they won't go down I'll go up we don't want the suspension move no more that's why I do this <clears throat> now it still look like I uh, it look like a, uh, the strut but it won't go up and down they be able to twist around because the wheels we uh, be able to turn left or right. This thing is still spin, but it's locked. So they won't either way it won't go down or it won't go up. So that means your suspension is locked. I hope this works. Alright, I got both sides suspension. It's locked right now. Right now it's like basically it's very solid. It's no suspension so it's not gonna go up and down and I don't think it's the it's the effect the wheel alignment right now. So I double check on the wheel alignment. Uh, today is a Wednesday. It's gonna be uh, testing tonight here at Bandamere Speedway. So I think we're gonna take her, see how she go. I already get the car text in, so I gotta make the first pass. See how it go. Hopefully go straight this time. <laughs> crazy you know I still don't know why but I'm continue to working on it until this thing goes straight I'm not gonna give it up I think we have to redesign a whole new different type of suspension this thing is not work if you lock the strut the whole car is bouncing like you're on the horse wagon it's crazy you know it can't drive the car like that you know imagine it happen at the end of the line yeah, I just get back from the racetrack.
<coughs> the first thing is going to my mind is uh, the suspension on a Phoenix doesn't matter how hard I try, this thing still not work. They pull to the left, they bouncy, you know, it make you uncomfortable while you're driving the car. And most of all, it's very dangerous. So at this point, I gonna redesign the different uh, setup of the suspension. Yep, maybe it's a lot of work, but uh, it's fun to do. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated while I work on that suspension. Um, yeah, enjoy the video that's a uh, little bit at uh, Indiana and a little bit back home. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I see you tomorrow. Bye now.